We are. I think we are live. Welcome to Rep Motive Live Monday. Thought I'd give you a little look of what the weather is like here right now. It's sunny. It's warm. It's 84 degrees here. Hence the headband for the perspiration. You know, to keep the perspiration off my brow while I'm making videos. Now, got to get this up on the laptop in front of me here so I can actually see what's going on. Let's get it up right here. Here we go. Oh, we have a commercial. Today's commercial is the lovely Hyundai Tucson. I'm not a big Hyundai fan, although I did have a Hyundai Genesis Coupe Sport Track. Six-speed manual transmission, and it was auto. It was awesome. Okay, got rid of the commercial. The commercial's gone. Let's do a little... Uh, adjusting of the screen there we go i think that's just about perfect got the hat with me just in case i need it there you go keep my delicate head from burning in the sun and actually we're going to get rid of all of this because frankly i can't see in here with the sunglasses on so let's go this way ah that's better and let's go this way there we go all right Get these sunglasses put away. We don't need them in the garage. It's it's not sunny in the garage. Anyway, welcome to welcome to Rob Motive Live Monday. Uh, we are going to be doing another giveaway today, tonight. So if you're interested, the winner will be chosen, announced tonight. It's not one of those long, you know, YouTuber style giveaways where you got to do this and you got to scratch that and you got to walk backwards. And it's not one of those. It's going to be a quick giveaway and it's going to be a little bit later so stick around if you're interested and why wouldn't you be it's free free that's right so who do we have on so far we got marcus sadowski marcus i haven't heard from you in a while how have you been he says hey rob how did how you doing uh viper nation says hey rob hey vn how you doing M. Jones says live chat oh thank you thank you very much i was not on live chat. Now I am. Thank you. I always forget. I don't, you think I would know by now. I've done a million of these, but I always forget. Dan, the man, he's cooking and watching. What are you cooking, man? I hope something good. Dan says, hit the like button. Yes. If you wouldn't mind, hit that thing. Looks like that. Uh, Daily Grind. What's up, Rob? Uh, just hanging out, hanging out with you guys, doing a little live chat, a little giveaway. We are going to have a special guest with us this evening. Uh, due to popular requests on the last live stream, many people asked if I was single now or what. I may have mentioned a monetary exchange. I, I don't know what that was about. I caught a little grief from that after the live stream. For some reason, the wife thought I had offered her up for bid. I, I don't know. I did not do that. So I don't even know what she's talking about. But uh, Dennis... Easter Day. Dennis Easter Day. Wow, I've never heard that name before. Uh, keeping up on your videos. Awesome. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you for watching the videos. Uh, Dan the Man says, brats. Ooh, that would be good. I will be having the traditional fried eggs, too, with two pieces of bacon. That's bacon. Uh, that's what we're going to be having tonight for dinner. That's what I'm going to be having tonight for dinner because, frankly, it's quick, it's easy, it takes three seconds to make. When I get done with this live stream, I exhaust so much energy that I'm starving to death. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Adam Jan says, hey, hey. Adam, how you doing? Let's do some channel announcements before I forget. I've tried to do these as we go. First of all, if you're interested... And even if you're not, you owe it to yourself. Check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT. I am five lonely subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers on that channel. And I would really dig getting to 2,000. So if you haven't subscribed and you haven't watched, what do you got to lose? I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. I need five, just five subscribers. And if you're on here tonight, or you're re-watching this later because, frankly, it is quality, family-oriented entertainment, uh, subscribe to this channel while you're at it. I mean, why wouldn't you? I don't know. I would. If I was, I would. Also, um, discount codes. It's that time of year. People are having sales and stuff, so why not get a little more? 
you're looking for parts for your Toyota, your Tacoma, your Tundra, your Corolla, your Camry, it doesn't matter. Sparks Parts, discount code RobMotive, 5% off your order. Also, if you're looking for LEDs, you know, those things that brighten up everything, LEDs, headlights, taillights, dome lights, interior lights, headlight revolution, discount code RobMotive for free shipping, free shipping over there. And I've got one more. If you're looking to decorate the interior or exterior now of your Tacoma, you know, little decals, little appliques, those sill guard protectors like what I have on my truck, tough skins, Rob Motive 10, 10% off your order. 10% off. That's pretty good, I think. But anyway, those are the announcements. That's what's going on right now as far as channel announcements go. Uh, Jake Eckhard says, what do you think is a better tire, a Duratrack or a KO2? Uh, I haven't had KO2s. I hear they're pretty good, but I don't know. They look firmer. So if you could look at a tire and say, hmm, that looks firmer to me, then I would say the Duratracks. They are the second best tire, but not by much of the tires I've had. Right now I'm running Wild Peaks, Falcon Wild Peaks on my Jeep Gladiator outside. Those are the best I've had so far, I think. That's what I would recommend with the Duratrack closely behind because they're pretty good as well. But I really am impressed with the Wild Peaks and I believe they're a bit cheaper too. So you owe it to your wallet to check those out. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. Uh, Bug says, hey bro, hey Bug, how you doing? Uh, S. George says, Mr. Rob Motive, what's up? Just hanging out, hanging out with you guys. How you doing? Um, let's see. Samus says, oi, oi, what's up? What's up, oi, eh? M. Jones, which vehicle in the garage has the lowest mileage? Boy, that's a good question. I would guess the Wrangler does, but I'm not positive of that. Uh, Walter Ray's, any new Tacoma mods, recommendations for new Tacoma owners? Oh, please, have you checked out the channel? There's a million mods on there, but what I would do, the first things that I do, window tent, got to do that. Um, sill guards is always good, got to do those. Um, D-chrome, D-badge, I always do that. Uh, bigger mods, a lift. You're into it for about sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars for a lift. Throw in another twenty-three to twenty-five hundred dollars for wheels and tires, and you're golden. Beyond that, cold air intake, TRD exhaust, uh, LED tail lights, LED headlights, LED interior lights, uh, custom center console lid. That's awesome. One of my favorite mods ever. Uh, you name it. But there are uh, many, many mods on the channel. Just search for, to, uh, by the way, a little lesson in how to search. It's very simple. Just put in the channel name, Rob Motive, and then whatever you're looking for. And if I have done a video on it, it will come up. Like, for instance, Rob Motive, I don't know, Lift. It will come up. It's pretty easy. But anyway, lots of stuff out there. Uh, Bill Huzz. Hey, Rob, just smash that like. Everyone join in. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Looks like we have 16 breathing bodies on here right now and 16 likes. That's a first. I don't think they've ever matched. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Chad. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Hope everything is good. Everything's good. As far as I know, I had my first dental experience here in the RGV uh, last week. Uh, because I had a tooth that was hurting. I haven't, I don't know. So I went to the dentist. You know, I haven't been to the dentist since we moved here. I'm going to shamelessly admit because of everything that's going on. You don't want to, the last place you want to go is to a doctor's office, right? So I went to the dentist. They were very good. It's called, uh, what is it called? Rio Vista, I think is the name of this dental place. I highly recommend them. They're very good there. If you're in the RGV and you're looking for a dentist, Rio Vista. I think that's what they're called. I should get that right. I should probably know who my dentist is, shouldn't I? Let me take a look. I had a card. 
Um, I don't. I'm pretty sure it's Rio Vista. Somebody will correct me if they're from the area. They'll know. I think that's it. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Um, let's see. Uh, Adam Yan. I'm pretty good. My back has a pulled muscle causing a pinched nerve, but I think I'm heading to work anyway. You see, I have a ruptured disc in my back. And for about six months, I had numbness in my leg as well as sciatic nerve pain. Um, apparently, the fluid that blew out of that disc dispersed somewhere in my spine, as I told it was, poss it was possible that it could do. And everything went away. Feel good? Can raise up and down? See that? That's me raising up and down. Uh, and I just caught it on my own screen. Uh, but kind of weird. But anyway, everything's cool. Um, I wish you luck. Nothing worse than back pain, man. Walter says, hey, Rob, I'm writing an essay, but I can't miss the Rob Motive Live. And <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. And what is your essay about? Perhaps we can all help you, and this won't be a loss. I mean, there's a lot of smart people on here. We got 24 people on here now. So there's a lot of smart people here, and I'm sure we can help you. What's the topic? Um, let's see, Choi, sorry if I got that wrong, uh, Vargas, hey Rob, hey, how are you? Uh, M. Jones, best Tacoma mod, email Rob about ordering a decal. That's true. If you're looking for the easiest and probably cheapest mod you can get, the Rob Motive decal, guaranteed to make your truck look better, I gotta say. Might even add some horsepower, I don't know. That'll probably come from the person running into the back of you while they're staring at the magnificence of the Rob Motive decal. I'm just saying. Uh, Luke. Hey, Luke. How you been, bud? What's new and exciting? Uh, Dan the Man. Binge watch the channel and get caught up, bam. LOL. I'm all for that. You know, and I think every day everybody should, before they head off to work, just go to the channel and set it on autoplay and start a video. I didn't say that out loud. I'm just thinking it in my head. Uh, Luke says, heading to North Carolina for the holidays. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Luke says, Savannah, Georgia, layover right now. Awesome. A lot of people are traveling. I know. There's all these warnings and things out there about traveling. And then I hear there's a million people at the airport here and a million there and a lot of people. Uh, Seamus McKinley. Seamus. Thank you very much for the pronunciation. Seamus, uh, do you have an opinion about Husky versus WeatherTech floor liners? Oh, yeah, I got an opinion. Um, and not because either one is horrible, but I would always go with Husky. Husky is made of the flexi flexible, more rubber-like material like the OEMs. Um, and WeatherTech is more rigid. You know, it's like setting a, a tray in there that doesn't flex a whole lot. I don't dig those. I like the kind that kind of lay over, you know, kind of lay down, like the OEMs. And by the way, I would always recommend going with the OEM floor mats over either one of those. But if you must go third party, then I would go Husky. That is my opinion. Again, not saying that the other ones are horrible or anything. They're, they're fine. Um, I just prefer the more rubberized, um, flexible type for me. And I've seen the weather tech. Sometimes they don't fit well along the edges and they kind of lean in. So now you have a gap. I don't like that. I don't like that. I like my, my stuff to lay smooth. You know what I'm saying? Ah, a little sip of the low this evening. Ah, water. Ah, let's see. TTP. Howdy, Rob. Enjoying uh, wait a minute. Howdy, Rob. Enjoying the content. Content. Keep rocking. TTP, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Love to smoke says, hey, Rob. Hey, Gene. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Daniel Morales says, what's cooking? Well, nothing right now unless you're Dan the man. He's cooking brats, but me, I'm just starving over here. Uh, Daniel said, let's see. When it's wrecked, it's wrecked. Only it's flexible and they cover a lot. Daniel, your comment was, of course, held because of language. This is a PG-13 or G channel, just to let you know. But I did see your comment, and uh, I agree as far as uh, the consistency of them, you know. 
Uh, Daniel says, yes, they are LOL horrible. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I don't really dig them. So, you know, not my thing, man. Not my thing. Wait a minute. Uh, Daniel said, I read that. M. Jones, I think Husky are better as well and cheaper where I am. Yeah, that's the other thing. The Huskies are cheaper, I believe, than the WeatherTechs. But I think, and I'm not positive, I think the OEMs are cheaper than both. And by the way, you should be able to just go to the dealership and pick up the OEMs. I mean, I don't know why anybody, why do you, why do you want to go aftermarket anyway? I'm curious. What's your motivation there? Uh, nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just curious. Uh, Philip Huggins says, howdy. Philip, how you doing, buddy? I hope all is going your way today. Uh, Luke says, Rob, is GR still around? Uh, as far as I know, hasn't been on here in uh, a long time, but uh, still out there kicking. Uh, Philip Huggins says, haven't seen, nope, I haven't seen him for a while. Don't know, he's doing his thing, you know, whatever. We YouTubers all do our own thing. So that's the way it goes. Seamus says, thanks. Thank you. Uh, M. Jones says, aftermarket Ford ones don't cover behind the gas pedal. That's my reason for going Husky. Uh, aftermarket Ford, oh, Ford ones. I was going to say, let's take a quick look. Let's take a walk. How about a field trip? Because I'm curious to see what's going on with my uh, OEMs in here. You're gonna, you can't even see that, man. Let me grab a, a light. Let me grab a lantern. Isn't that what they call it in Canada? A lantern? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let me grab a flashlight. I'm going to point you guys in here, and I'm hoping you get a view. Uh, there. I don't know if you can see that, but they do go up behind the pedals. I actually cut mine off here uh, because it didn't lay flat. These were out of uh, a non-manual transmission, so they're designed differently. So this little cutout you see here, I did that. Normally it's solid through there. But you can see um, they do go behind. So I guess in my case with the Tacoma OEM version, uh, they do go behind. Hopefully you guys could see that. <clears throat> All I can see is uh, the back of the phone when I point you guys that direction. So I don't know if you saw it or not, but uh, hopefully you did. By the way, if you've just come on, there is going to be a giveaway tonight. I'll be announcing what that is shortly. So if you're interested in a free something something, stay tuned. It's coming. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Uh, uh, I've lost my spot. Philip Huggins. He posted a few videos. I've seen them as well. I'm doing well. Don't forget to Hulk smash the thumbs up or like button. Yes, don't forget to do that. I see it done one, two, three, four, five times, Philip. That's good. That's an acceptable number. That means it's on. Uh, Run Forest says, had OEM taco mats and then got Husky and liked them better. Better coverage than OEM. Uh, I do believe that's true. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. I know I've seen them in the truck, but I can't remember what they look like. I'm trying to visualize that in my head. Um, but yeah, they might give you a little more coverage. I'm sure they probably do. But for someone like me, um, what I have is just fine. I'm not looking to cover everything. You know what I mean? But if you're a serious off-roader or in the mud a lot or whatever, certainly would come in handy, I would think. Uh, Seamus says, in England, they call it a torch. They do. I have heard that before. Pass me the torch or flashlight. Um, let's see. Adam Yan. I go aftermarket gator mats because I need protection from water and mud. I don't know if I've ever heard of gator mats, actually. I don't know. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. We are supposed to be having a guest on this evening. She said she was going to be joining us. I have not seen her yet. Uh, she will be coming. I have a question for you guys. I need to show you under my hood, well, the truck's hood. So let's, let's pop the Tacoma hood. We're going on a field trip again. We're gonna walk over here, need to uh, locate the hood releaser right here. Again, hopefully uh, you guys can see, otherwise you're just looking at darkness. I don't know. 
But let's pop the hood because I have a question. Let me set you down. This is kind of a two-hand job these days. Um, all right, here we go. You never can remember how to, which way to push the slot under there. But you guys can see, well, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. How about a little bit of light? Let's put some light on the subject here. How about here? There. What's the picture look like? Let me see. Okay, that's a pretty good shot. That's a pretty good shot. While we're here, let's have a little tour. How about a little tour? You know, that's what they say in Canada when they're going somewhere. We're going to take a tour and we're going to buy a twofer. And that's what it's all about. Did I get that right, Mark? Did I get everything right there? I'm curious. But let's, let's take a little tour. First of all, we have the S&B cold air intake. Somebody asked me earlier what I would recommend. I love that thing. Um, primarily for aesthetics. I love the way it looks. I get a little bit of sound out of it when I get on it, but <clears throat> I really have it in there for aesthetics. Um, I like having that big open or glass, not glass, plastic plexiglass cover so you can see the filter and everything. I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can probably tell I have the paper one in there, the non-oil soaked. I like that. I think it's pretty neat. But my question is, the engine cover. You can see I have it painted, right? You guys can see that right there. I recently changed the colors on the engine cover on the Jeep Gladiator to green to match the green accents I have. And then when I did that, I thought, you know, I don't know if I really dig this on the Tacoma. Here, I'll put you guys over the top of it. Let me, uh, let me see if I can orient you correctly. Uh, I think I'm close. Let's go that way. There. You can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like under my hood right now as far as the engine cover goes. Uh, I was actually thinking of changing that to some other color. My conundrum is I don't know what color. I don't want it to be black. I don't want it to be all red. I don't think I want it to be all voodoo blue. Although that might look better than the blue and the red combo I have on it? I'm not sure. So what do you guys think? I'd be curious to know what you guys think of it. Let me know. Uh, uh oh, I've fallen behind a little bit, not too much. Uh, Mumphy, hey Mumphy, how you doing? Mumphy says, hey Rob, will you be looking at an aftermarket front bumper? If so, what style are you looking at? Ah, there's a story behind that. You know, before I got the um, shackles, and found a way to mount them on the front of the truck, I was going to put a steel bumper on the front of the truck. I contacted a company, but unfortunately they did not contact me back or I would have been, uh, I would have done it already. They didn't contact me back. So I since found a way to put the shackles on that I wanted with the demon mounts, you know, um, and I'm happy with it the way it is. So honestly, at least at this time, unless for some reason, uh, I find that I need to put a winch on there or something. Uh, probably not. But there was one I was looking at, and I cannot remember what the name of the company was. So I can't really tell you because I don't remember. Um, Florida Cards fan. I bought the OEM TRD Pro mats. I like the design. Yeah, those are pretty sharp. I like those as well. Uh, Florida Cards fan says, and hi, y'all. How you doing? Uh, Philip Huggins says, hi, Florida Cards. Philip Huggins, he's laughing out loud like a madman. A madman. Uh, Adam Yan says, looked them up. I like them better than all the other brands. I'll have to, up oh, there we have our guest this evening has arrived. Round of applause. How do? Krista is in the house here. I promised someone I'd be here today, so here I am. That's right. Last week, she was getting mad requests to be on the channel. I, I don't know what that was about, but here she is. This is my betrothed. Yes. I call her the wife. And no, just to clear things He's up. He's just the man. Just a... <laughs> <clears throat> That's how Canadians are, you see. She's Canadian, by the way. So, Jean, Mark, I don't know how many other Canadians we have on here, but um, let's see. Let me catch up here a little bit, and then I got to tell you a little story. Uh, let's see. Uh, where am I? Love to Smoke says, from a yank's mouth. 
Yes, we were talking earlier. I told him I was going to take a tour. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it mean if I say I'm going to go on a tour? Oh my gosh, she's so Americanized now. She doesn't even remember. You're going on a tour. Yeah. You're, I don't know, you're going to look at something, tour it. I don't know. What are you saying? What, what, about, wow. a, what about a twofer? A twofer. I know what that is. Uh-huh, you see? I got half of it right, I guess. All Canadians know that. <laughs> I know, eh? Wow. Get it? I mm. speak in her language right now. He's trying. <clears throat> um... Let's see. Uh, love to smoke. Yeah, I read that. B Fraz. Hey, B, how you doing there, buddy? B Fraz says, just found a seller on Etsy who makes a customized grommet for aftermarket knob setups. Uh, it hooks onto and covers the stock chrome adapter. Very excited, and there's no need to remove the console parts. Let's see now. What is this for? Aftermarket knob setups. Are you talking about for the radio, or are you talking about the climate control knobs? Because... I would be interested in that. That sounds awesome, man. Uh, and then we jumped. The whole screen just jumped and went nuts. Al Kaiser says, hey, Rob, been a while? Yeah, I know, Al. What's the deal, man? I mean, I'm here every Monday. You know, we wait around for you, and you don't come, and it's very discouraging. So I'm very happy that you're here tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, let's see. Florida Cards fan says, I think it looks sharp. Awesome. Uh, Philip Huggins says, no, oh, you're talking about that. That. I was showing the engine cover and talking uh, about maybe changing it or something. I, I haven't decided. I see. Um, let's see. Philip Huggins says, no! Leave it like that. I might. John Watt. John, you finally made it. John says, well, finally, there you are. Every Monday, right in this time slot, I'm here. Good to have you, John. Uh, let's see, B. Fraz, he thought better, he retracted, I don't know. Terry Newell says, any thoughts of doing a tune? Uh, some sound promising, but I can't afford to forfeit my warranty. <sighs> Probably down the road, but it'll come with a supercharger. Mm. That is when I'm looking to do a tune. What do you think? Could be beastly. Beastly? <laughs> um... <laughs> Let's see, Mumphy says, I have the demon mounts as well until I'm ready for the slimline bumper from SSO. Awesome, mm. awesome. Philip Huggins says, how be, Christy? Who? I think he's talking to you. Hi, Philip. Uh, Adam Yan says, do all white like mine? Um, probably not because it's a blue truck. You know, if you have a white truck, I could see that. Um, Let's see, Carlos Lopez says, is good. She is there. Why, thank you. Uh, Chad Cronat says, hey, Krista, how you doing? Good, Chad, how are you? Is this going to become the Krista show now? I caught up on the comments, now it's the Krista show. Yeah. Um, Mumphy says, hello, Krista. Hi, Mumphy. Uh, Seamus, that's how you say that name right there, Seamus. Oh. He gave me the spelling. No, oh. I just knew, I just knew. Seamus says... Uh, let's see, Arrigo Del Gallo. Boy, I bet I got that all wrong, but I hope I'm close. I just got a Tacoma last week, been watching your vids while waiting for my truck to arrive. Thank you, Rob. Awesome. Thank you for watching, man. What flavor did you get? Uh, Michael the Welder. Love the videos and content. Keep up the great work. Michael, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Cool. Uh, B. Fraz, sorry to clarify about the custom knob grommet. It's when you're adding a custom shift knob. Oh, it prevents the boot from slipping and covers the chrome. Gotcha. Understand. And I remember you asking about that. Um, at least I think it was you. Was it you? I think it was you. Um, Run Forest says, your videos gave me gap. No, that's not what he said. Your videos gave me Christmas gift ideas. <laughs> <laughs> for the fam. Good job, Rob. Run Forest. I am here to help spend your family's money. You just let me know and I will tell them what you want. <laughs> I can help too if you like. Um, <laughs> Marcus Sadowski says, hey, Krista. Hey, Marcus. How are you? Uh, Al Kaiser says, ha, 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 ha. 
Uh, I had the fuel pump recall a few weeks back. All is good, except I think my gas mileage per tank of gas has gone down. I've heard that a few times. Uh, anybody hear of that? Well, I've heard that a few times. Uh, <laughs> it's marginal, <clears throat> but I noticed it. I think they did some sort of a tune or a change in the way the truck runs when they did that. That's what I think. What are you hitting me for? Read. So, somebody just said <laughs> to hit me? Oh, look at that. Run Forest. Uh, run Forest. What's up, Beans? Any chance you smack Robbie on the head for us? There you go, Forrest. Thanks, man. I, I appreciate the camaraderie here. Believe me. Uh, Al Kaiser says, hi, Krista. Nice to meet you. See ya. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Rigo, he retracted, thought better of it. I don't know. Uh, Rigo says, 21 TRD off-road, double cab short bed, cement gray. Awesome. I saw a mm. cement gray truck today, and it had black wheels, bigger tires. It was lifted. It looked pretty good. Yeah. I liked it. It yeah. looked really good. Matter of fact, it would give me pause next time I ordered as to the color I might want. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Sharp truck, man. Yep. And congratulations. Uh, Viper Nation says, hey, Krista. Hey, Viper. Florida Cards fan says, at B, got the, f or rather, got that from Cali Raised. You must be talking about the shift er collar, I guess. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, Run Four says, excellent job, or excellent, good job, Beans. Glad I got I, I didn't see anything good about that at all. I have it on tape now, spousal abuse <laughs> right here. It's what happens when you marry a Canadian. It's just light. That wasn't light. It was very I felt light. my brain hit my skull. I think I have a concussion. Did your head bounce off the table? It too? bounced off the back of your hand. <laughs> I can't even talk now, you see? I'm all choked up. Uh, let's see. Adam Don says, have you decided if you're going to take the black vinyl off between the driver and passenger window yet? No, I will not be doing that. I will not be doing that. Uh, Sam Bath Seahorn. Love your videos. Watch every day. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you very much. Um, Carlos Lopez says, which one does she like the more or better Tacoma or the gladiator? Tacoma. She doesn't like the Gladiator. She's an anti-Gladiator. I'm a Jeep Wrangler owner. I love my Jeep, but yeah, between the two, I like the Tacoma better. It Can is. Can somebody a nice tell me to smack truck. her on the back of the head? <clears throat> um, of course, she'll see the comment before I do, so it won't be any good. Uh, let's see. There you go, Carlos. She. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We have a super chat. A $10 super chat from B. Fraz. B. Fraz says, thanks for making each Monday a little better. The blue unicorn. Long live the blue unicorn. That's awesome. That's awesome. And thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I really do. I keep saying male. B, I don't know if you're a male or a female. Or I just don't know. So I'm not, If I, I hope I'm not offending you. But for some reason, I assume you're a male. But I don't know that. But thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I really do. Tomorrow, I shall dine like a king on McDonald's. Something's going on. On McDonald's, chicken nuggets, man, and a little sweet. Ten bucks will buy me a, a good meal. Thank you very much. Um, let me go back a little bit here. Um, let's see. I've, I've lost my place, man. Uh, let's see. Walter says, the we're going to help Walter write an essay here. Walter says the essay is about climate change and how we can reduce it. It's controversial. Don't want to get into this too much detail. I'd rather watch the live than the essay. Mm. I agree. We're not going to help you. Uh, <laughs> Florida Cards fan says, LOL, called shift knob trim ring. Ah, see, I'd call it a shift knob collar. But yours sounds just as same. good. I'll go sounds with that. I think that's the same thing, man. Yeah. Um, KR says, can't decide between a 2021... 20, We'll help you here. Mm. Can't decide between a 2021 Tacoma off-road or 2020 Ford F-150 four-door V8. What? Doing some off-roading and driving on the beach, but majority of time will be daily driving grocery getter. You're talking two different animals there, man. Yeah, I mean, really. full-size truck versus mid-size truck, V8 versus V6. Uh, you got to decide what class of truck you want first. 
and then decide what you're going to go with. I mean, you could get a Tundra full size mm -hmm. um, or you could get a Ranger. So I'm not sure why you're looking at those two, two different animals, but that's a tough choice uh, given that you're looking at two different things, I think. Again, I, but again, I'd go Tacoma. <clears throat> I don't know why would you go Tacoma. You can't just say I'll go Tacoma. You got to say why you'd go Tacoma. I mean, are you like the all-encompassing, ever-knowing being that just says, I'd go to Tacoma and proclaim it and you don't have to explain yourself? I think it's a better truck. Why? Because it is. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> it is. Because it is. Again, she's omnipotent or omniscient. What is it? All-knowing, all-powerful. I think it's omniscient. I don't know. Omniscient, I believe, is all-knowing. Omnipotent is all-powerful. Oh. I think... I don't know, trying to remember my philosophy class days. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Anyway, yeah, B, thank you very much for the super chat once again. I do appreciate that. I really do. Uh, Jose de Seuss. Um, and then I jumped. Hey, Rob, hope you guys are good. Love your input on the Tundra. Jose, thank you very much. What one do you have? Or do you? Uh, Terrence Tatum. Hey, Rob. Hello, Krista. How's it going today? Terrence, it's hey. doing good. How are you? How are things? Uh, good, I hope. Love to Smoke says, Canadians, Canadians uh, have great taste, but you hooked up with Rob. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We have another Super Chat. Super Chats get you immediate notice, in case you didn't know. Uh, Rico Del Gallo, again, taking a stab at pronunciation, says, have a cup on me. Rigo, I appreciate awesome. that. Now, tomorrow morning, I can have breakfast. Honey, I'm going to put on some weight here. I'm just wasting away. But thank you. No, I really not. do appreciate that. That is very nice of you, and uh, really I, I do appreciate it, man. He is not wasting away. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> uh, love to smoke. I have nothing else to say to you. Um, let's see. John Watt says, Rob, you ever try new finish polish? If so... Uh, what do you think of it? You know, I have a bottle of it sitting in my cabinet right over here. I don't believe I've ever used it, though. So I can't tell you. I don't know. Uh, Carlos Lopez says, good choice, Chris. Yeah, choosing me. That was the good choice. Her choice in vehicles, not so much. Whatever. Whatever. What Clever. Ever. All right, I'm going to tell you guys what the giveaway here is in just a minute. Mm. Run for says, no smacking the beans. She rules with an iron fist. Uh, Rob, if you spend my fam's money, it means I don't get the stink eye. <laughs> oh, I'm not personally going to spend it. Excuse me. I'm just going to tell them what to spend it on for you, you see. So you're still going to get the stink eye. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. uh, old 12 school three. I don't know. What, what does that mean? <clears throat> um, Rob, are lift spacers bad for your truck? I don't think so. I have them. Um, depends on how much you space, how big you go, but I don't think so, no. They just, I mean, if anything, they compact the suspension a little bit by putting the, you know, the, the spacer on top. Yeah, it makes the ride more firm, that's for sure, I think, along with the bigger wheels and tires. Uh, Rigo says, do you have a recommendation for an LED H11 bulb to replace the OEM halogen bulb? Oh, I do, but I don't remember what it is. Um, I have a video on the channel about that, but I think it's V-Star, V-something. I can't recall right now what it is, but if you search uh, Rob Motive LED or Rob Motive Headlight, something like that, you should see the video. But I had them on mine, and they worked really well, actually, and I ended up giving them a set away. Hmm. So they were pretty good. Uh, Walter says... I love to see my grandpa go off-road in his TRD Pro, but he hasn't. Well, you need to go over there and look him in the eye and say, Gramps. Let's go. Let's go off-road, buddy. See what he says. I don't know your grandpa. Maybe he'll say okay. Maybe he'll tell you to go do something else. <clears throat> um, <laughs> nice. The Florida Cards fan says, got to run. Wish all of you a great night and a better week. Thanks, Rob, for making it fun. Florida Cards fan, I appreciate you being here, man. I hope... You have a great rest of the week and stay safe out there. Uh, Walter says, I'd, 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 or ID. And then he retracted, but I saw it. You're not fast enough for me, see. Uh, Stephen McGrath says, hey, Rob. Stephen, how you doing, buddy? 
Uh, again, Rigo, thank you very much for that $5 super chat and that cup of tea in my case. I appreciate that. Steven says, how are we, Krista? Ouch. Hi, Steven. She has delicate ears. Get the oh, light over here. Uh, Jose says, 2016 Tundra TR TRD Off-Road Crew Max. Awesome. Awesome truck, man. Uh, let's see. Savadix? I'm sure I got that wrong. Uh, hello from the Ukraine. Awesome. Nice. Welcome. How are you? And what time is it in the Ukraine right now? Yeah. Ask your watch. Should be able to tell you. No, I don't know. No, don't, don't do that. You'll mess up my phone. Yes. Um, but hello. Good to have you on here. How are things in the Ukraine? Uh, B. Fraz says, does anyone know where I could get a single side step that doesn't require drilling? Um, did I, where I could get single side steps that don't require drilling? Trying to make it easier for my kids to get in and out. Would love to put a step on each side of the rear doors. You know, you might have to buy the steps and then cut them yourself. And actually, if you could find a used set, uh, probably not a bad way to go. You could get them pretty cheap and then cut them the length that you want with the step, maybe, maybe. Um, but I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, there's got to be some out there. I would search that, and you probably have, but I don't know. Terrence Tatum says, Krista is right. The Tacoma is awesome. It is. <sighs> Never hear the end of that. Viper Nation says, love my 2020 Tundra uh, SR5 Crew Max 4x4, not. TRD Off-Road Sport, I needed the best seat. Gotcha. A lot of people like that. Um, so I know what you mean. Uh, CTT863. Uh, hey, Rob, have you ever tried nano windshield treatment? Is it worth the cost? No, I have not. I have not even tried Rain-X. So uh, I don't know. I can't imagine, though. I mean, you know, if your windshield wipers are on... You're talking about the windshield. Yeah, and it's going to scrape it off. Eventually, it's going to wear off. The sun will burn it off. I can't imagine. I wouldn't spend much. I'm not big into glass treatment like that, to be honest, because it is going to wear off relatively quickly, I would think. Steven says, Oxbeam H11, uh, great LED bulbs, uh, 1010 recommended. There you go. There you go. You heard it here. If you want an answer, just get on the live chat and ask. Uh, about the image. About the image. Can you lower a 4x4 Tundra? Can you do a video if you find any videos or know anyone that has? Uh, I would just get on YouTube and search lowered 4x4 Tundra. Certainly, if it's been done, you will find it there. Yeah. Um, let's see. Jose says, uh, what would you recommend for a lift on that 2016 TRD off-road? Already dropped some 20s and 33s. Thinking of a... Three-inch three inch lift. Uh, it depends on what you want, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got what I like to call a hybrid lift on my Tacoma. It's about 1600 bucks. I suspect it'd be about the same for the Tundra. Although my Tundra had the uh, three by two on it and it was just a regular block and spacer. And because of the weight of the Tundra, you wouldn't have even known it was, it was lifted. So I would probably just go with a three, two ready lift, man. Uh, they're so heavy that you won't even feel the difference. You'll just see the height. That's what I would recommend. <clears throat> uh, Carlos says, I get one for my Tacoma. The name is Shinkano. Shinkano, they are good. I've never heard of that. Uh, Kayo17 says, howdy from Chicago. How you doing? Good to have you here, man. Uh, Kayo says, where can I find a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado rear bumper? Uh, Craigslist. That's where I would start. Uh, Jose says, living in Puerto Rico, love the beast. Love that beast. I'm sorry. Lots of time off road, uh, especially at my dad's ranch. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Uh, run four says, I got a set of the shark boards off a of second gen on my third gen fit tight against the doors and older people can get, get in it now. Bolt on. No problem. There oh, you go. There sounds you like go. a great solution. Yep. M Jones says rain X. Wipers, if you're going over 55 miles an hour. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Uh, Adam Yan says, well, it's time for work. Let's go get these tires inspected. I'll catch you all next Monday. Adam, I believe you are the inspector for, can't remember, one of the tire manufacturers. But thanks for being on. I appreciate it, bud. Al Kaiser says, got to run. Thanks, every, thanks for everything you do. Al, thanks for being here. I appreciate it, buddy. 
And now let's talk about the giveaway because if people are gonna leave, I wanna do a giveaway. So here's what we're gonna do. You can win one of these, it's three items you can choose from. Just like last week, if you were on last week, you know what I'm doing, here's what we're doing. You can win, what's the matter? Carry on. You can win the- You sound like a barker at a carnival. You can win the <laughs> Rob Motive Barcelona Red decal. You can see right there. I don't know if it rever it doesn't reverse it on the screen. No, just on my phone. Awesome. So the Rob Motive Barcelona Red or Red Decal. You also, can win. Also known as decal. Oh yeah, decal. Just but Canadians call it decals. I know that now because I heard someone who's Canadian tell me that it should be pronounced decal. It was on a who, football who, game. Who? I don't know. Or the Rob Motive <laughs> Voodoo Blue or Blue. Uh, decal right here. These are stickers, by the way. I call them decals, Krista, so she understands what I mean. Or, that's right, there's one more item. You have to choose one of these three. It's gonna be hard, I know. The Rock Motive JT. I thought if anybody's interested, maybe you're on both channels. This is the Jeep Gladiator channel decal. Um, it is Rob Motive JT, as you can see right here. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, there. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to hold it in front of my face. Um, anyway, those are the three that you can choose from. Pick which one you want. I will send it to you. What we're going to do, I will ask for a number. I will give you a range of numbers. Whoever on my screen, and I am on live chat, whoever on my screen guesses the number right will be the winner. The key here is whoever I see on my screen right. So if for some reason you see it differently, I don't know, but whoever appears on my screen first will be the winner. Now... You need to email me your shipping address while we're on this live stream. My email address is the channel name, it's Rob Motive, at gmail.com. I mean, I can't make it much easier than coming over there and typing it out for you. Rob Motive at gmail.com. You need to email oh, me your shipping right. address. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, everybody. So I can uh, verify the winner is the winner. Also, while we're on the live stream, in the chat, you need to tell me which one you want. That's all, it's that simple, that's it. Doesn't cost you anything, it's free. So let me catch up on the comments and then we're gonna do the giveaway. Um, let's see. Uh, where was I? Uh, somebody went to work, Al had to run. Arigo says, yay! Uh, Terrence Tatum says, just thumbed up, thank you. And yes, once again, as Krista so eloquently reminded you, please hit that like button if you haven't before because it makes me feel better. Um, let's see. Uh, Adam says, yes, Toyo Nitto. That's right. I almost said that, but I didn't want to get it wrong, so I didn't. Automan Dan says, hey, guys. Dan, you're back. Dan. Dan was on here a little while before as somebody else. He was Dan the Man, or maybe Dan the Man is somebody else. Could Dan the Man be someone else? You know, I thought Dan the Man and Automan Dan are the same Dan, I but maybe so. they're different Dans. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. It's a mystery. Uh, Automan Dan says, sorry, I'm late. Well, it's good you're here or back. I'm confused. I don't know. Chad says, paint the engine cover orange. Orange? You mean the black? What? This? Orange? Orange. No, that's Chevy colors, man. There'd be an inner war. Yeah, but, but, well. It but would look good, though. Blue. Orange, orange and blue are pretty good together, yeah, I must are. admit. So... Maybe that's a good idea. Um, Automan Dan says, rainbows. nope, different person. Oh, okay. All this time I thought Automan Dan and Dan the Man were the same person, but they're not. Oh. Uh, Jose says, nah, 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 nah. Okay, we're going to do the giveaway. All right, because it's time. It's time to do it. So remember, you can win the, you can choose the Rob Motive JT decal. It's kind of a <clears throat> goby color with green around it. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. You could win that one. Or you could win the blue Rob Motive decal, you pick. Or you could win the Rob Motive Barcelona red or red decal. You'll have to tell me which one. Now, don't start guessing until I say go, because if you, if you get it right, but I didn't say go and somebody else guesses it, you just lost. I'm just saying. Um, let's see, CTT863 says, searching for LED light bar, diode dynamics, or Cali raised. Um, I would go with, what do I have? Diode dynamics, that's what I have on my truck. It's an awesome, awesome light bar. Yep. Um, John, he guessed the number, I don't know why. Automan Dan says, was busy shopping for my new Harley. Oh, that's right, Dan is going to buy a Harley. 
He says he's getting a Harley, in addition to the 18 other cars. So the car getting. and truck and SUV shopping is over. You're going to get a Harley instead? He's getting a, he's getting a Harley. He's getting a hog. He needs a hog. He's a big boy. Big boys ride hogs. He used to have a hog. I had a hog. And then you got rid of the hog. I got rid of the hog. That's a drag. Uh, Terrence Tatum says, Callie Ray's Automan Dan, he guessed too. All right, here we go. You ready? Don't start until I say go. Well, yeah, you got to give the specifics. The range. Well, yeah, I'm yeah. going to give the numbers. Would you like to write the number down? Sure. Keep it out of the view of the camera. And yeah. you can't, some people can read numbers. So I got to run my they mouth can while you hear numbers. All right, she is writing down the numbers. So you see, I'm not even going to have anything to do with the choosing of the number. All right, she has written down. How are they supposed to see that on the screen? What do you mean? My God, you might as well have made it microscopic. I write the number down, it's huge. So when I hold it up, people can see it, but it's okay. It's all right. I know you're a rookie at this. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Canadians write small. I don't know. Are you ready? Let me see. Am I caught up here? Uh, for a car Adalberto anyway. says, hi, Rob. Uh, any fog light mod? Any fog lights mod? Uh, I went OEM um, uh, black. Not black. What's it called? OEM tinted? Mm. Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, gray? I don't know. I, mine are OEM, but they're the darker version. Yeah. Automan Dan says no shopping for car and a bike. Dan's making money hand over fist now. He can't, he doesn't even know what to do with it. He's buying new Harleys, buying That's new awesome. cars. That's awesome. Congratulations. That's good to hear. Smoked. Thank you. Smoked. See that? Smoked. All right. We've got the number. Here we go. Are you ready? I remember, whichever one I see on my screen first is going to be the winner there. I am the final judge here. Just saying. There's no argument. I'm just telling you because it's free. Good All luck, right. everybody. Here you go. I need a number. How many people do we have on here? 54 people. All right. I need a number between 450 and 514. 450 and 514. Go. All right. We got some guesses coming in. Now, you're going to have to approve these numbers if they really start rolling. How can I? On your phone. Can't you do it on your phone? Isn't that how you oh, usually do it? Yeah. All right. The numbers are rolling. I have not seen the winner yet. So no winner yet. Uh, I'm looking. Let's see. Nope. 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 Haven't seen the winner. Nope. Nope. Boy, this is a good number. Nobody's getting it right. I don't know. Uh, I'm still not seeing the winner. Nope. You let me know if you see it. I'm not seeing it. Uh, now we're starting to hide comments because they're rolling really fast and YouTube does that. I don't do that. YouTube does. I don't see it yet. Nobody's I'm gotten it. Them. Nobody, nobody's gotten the number. I'm not seeing it. Have you seen it? I'm... Krista picked a really difficult. No one's gotten it yet. I may have to put a time limit on this and declare a, a, a no number. I don't know. Uh, nobody's gotten it. Nope. No, nope, haven't. Man, it's going to take forever to go back through. Nobody's gotten it. Are you sure? I have not seen it. I haven't either. I have still not seen it. Uh, I'm looking. Um, no. Up. Oh, Up. Oh, I have seen the number. The number has been guessed. So now Krista is going to sing a good old fashioned Canadian song for you while I look through the numbers here to make sure that I did not miss it earlier than when I actually spotted it. Uh, let's see, I am scrolling back and now I'm just going to talk aimlessly um, while I look for the number. All right, here we go. I am looking and Krista picked such a difficult number that it took three and a half months to figure it out. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. Krista, do you have anything to say while I'm looking? Um, no, because I'm looking too. Oh, well, you're supposed to like recite the Canadian anthem or something. I don't recite know. Recite the Canadian anthem. Isn't there Sing O Canada? You know, <laughs> I mean, there must be something you can do. Do a jig. I, I don't know. You whip out your you guitar. Stand there whip, do a jig. whip out your guitar and play us a song. You know, that guitar you had to have um, that's collecting dust in our house now. I'm looking for the numbers. That's why I'm looking down um, to see yeah, who me won. Too. And Make I, sure we're on the same page. Uh, yeah, I did see it, so I know I somebody did, so guessed see, it. I've seen it three times. Oh, there it is. I see it now, right there. Do you agree? See it? Yes. You agree that's the winner? I agree that's we the We have that was the first a, one. an agreement between the two of us. I don't know how many other people got it right. There's so many guesses. There Let me write the name down. total, I think, unless... 
I'm writing the name down here. Okay, now remember, you need to tell me on this live stream which one you want. The red, the blue, or the, we'll call this one green. Red, blue, or green. I need to know which one you would like, and I need you to tell me in this chat, and then I need you to email me your shipping address, um, and that would be an email to robmotive at gmail.com. That way I can verify that the email I get is from you and not from somebody trying to steal your winnings. All right, here we go. The winning number was... 497, hopefully you can see that microscopic number right there. And the winner is Frankie Martinez. Frankie Martinez, you are the winner. So email, or email me your shipping address so I can verify you are the winner. And on this live stream, if you would tell me which one you want, that would be uh, awesome. Jingle bells. <laughs> jingle bells. Oh, Too gosh. early for that. Uh, Automan Dan says, no, it took six months to find the number. <laughs> I know, right? Philip Huggins says, sing Jingle Bells. She's shy. Um, let's see, Automan Dan, he's uh, laughing like mad. So is about that image. Um, Ode to the Canadian Mounties. Oh, there you go. That sounds like a goodie. Uh, M. Jones says, sing the Maple Leaf Forever. Do you know that song? The Maple know. Leaf Forever. You don't, she's not a real Canadian. I am so, but what is that? I've never heard of that. She doesn't know what that is. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one's open slate. See, you were trying to make me sing, weren't you? Uh, about the image says blue, you did not win. Uh, Automan Dan says, hey, Rob, one song that, uh, one, wait a minute. Hey, Rob, won the song, so I gave him one LOL. You wanted a song. Oh, wanted a song. Yep. Love to Smoke says, night all, have a great week. Gene, thanks for being here. You have a great night, bud. Automan Dan says, later smoke. Justin Stevenson thumbed up a bunch. Thank you. Awesome. Bruce says, how you doing? Hey, Bruce. Terrence Tatum says, congrats, Frankie. Um, and then I jumped. Uh, oh, I can show that. Yes, robmotive at gmail.com. There you go. Justin said, congrats. Philip says, you were Jonesy. <laughs> uh, about the image he waved by Automan Dan says congrats Bill thumbed up Rigo says thanks Rob and Krista happy Thanksgiving and God bless you two you and to everybody out here before I forget yes. happy Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving Mara Frankie says wow uh, thanks man red would be awesome alright let awesome. me write down red and then Frankie I don't know if you've emailed me yet I haven't seen anything come through the screen so if you email me your shipping address so I can verify you are really you. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you know you're you, but you know how that goes. Uh, and congratulations, Frankie. Um, let's see. Automan Dan thumbed up. Ron Phillips says, me neither. Me neither. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh, Terrence Tatum says, got to go eat dinner. You kids have fun. Terrence, you too. Thanks for being on here, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Um, about that image says, oh, don't you know. Oh, don't you know. Don't you know? Tim, or Tom rather, Gregory says, missed it by this much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Marcus, later, happy Thanksgiving. You too, Marcus. You Thanks too. for being on, bud. Uh, Subi says, congrats. Walter says, you guys take care. I'll be here next Monday. Take care. You too. Thanks for being here. Um, let's see. Terrence Tatum says, yes, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Terrence. You too. Uh, about the image, says congrats, frankly, Automan Dan says, see you later, Seamus, he put up a turkey, a gobbler. Mm. Uh, Philip says, kumbaya, Seamus <laughs> McKinley, he's a pumpkin. Uh, Sam the man says, Rob, I was just thinking today while working on the Tacoma, it could use hood insulation. See, you have none. Mm. Uh, I do not, I do not. It's just blue, acres and acres of blue. Mm -hmm. Um... Tom Gregory says, goodbye, Tom. Thanks for being here. Seamus has done a little piece of the old pumpkin pie, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, Audubon Dad says, have a good night and happy Thanksgiving. You too, Dan. You too, Dan. Thanks for being on here. And let's see. Uh, Frankie, I don't see that you've sent me an email yet. Um, if you have, uh, let me know if you'd be so kind so that I can again verify that you, oops, Oh, crap. I didn't mean to close that. So that you uh, do get you what you've won, you know? Uh, let me go to Rob Motive. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not from Frankie. 
Uh, let me refresh this. I don't know how to do that. There we go. Um, I do not see an email from you, Frankie. So if you've emailed me, uh, it's not come through yet. So, and you do need to email me before we sign off here. I'm, oh, wait, there it is. There it is. There it is. Frankie has sent me something. Frankie, I need the last three digits of your zip code. Just the last three digits of your zip code, please. That will allow me to verify that what I've got in front of me here is indeed you. from you. Unfortunately, I have to do these things because... Uh, we'll mark that as unread. And what was that number? It's right there. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, yeah, Frankie, if you could uh, if you could email me the last three digits of your zip code, not email, uh, respond on the live stream, if you would. Maybe you have. Just send it now. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Frankie. I am now confident that you are you, although you probably knew you were you, but now I know you're you. Again, congratulations. Yep. I will get that red Deckle, it'll be this one right here, by the way. Um, out to you. I uh, appreciate you playing. I hope you uh, enjoy it and like it. Uh, let me catch up on some comments. And let's see. Uh, where was I? Uh, Tom said goodbye. Seamus, he gave me, I don't know what that is. Looks like some piece of something. Automan Dan says, have a good night and happy Thanksgiving. You too, Dan. Thanks you for too, being Dan. on, buddy. Bruce says, have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. You too, Bruce. Blue Sox says, let's be thankful for our trouble-free Tacomas. Absolutely. Uh -huh. uh, Frankie says, just send it now. Yep, yep, got that. Hunt Stevenson says, Rob, uh, have you been able to hit the gun range at all? Uh, do you have any pistol storage mods on the Tacoma? No, I haven't. I know of a place, but I haven't been yet because getting ammo is kind of difficult right now. Mm -hmm. um, Chad says, good night all and have a happy Thanksgiving. You too, Chad. Chad. Uh, Frankie gave me his number. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Justin, have a wonderful Thanksgiving and good night, everyone. You too, Justin. Thanks for being on, buddy. Frankie says, thank you, Rob. I really appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you being here, bud. With that, we are all caught up. Um, again, want to thank everybody for being on here. I really appreciate it. Without you guys, I'm just a guy talking to himself on the web. Also, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time. On the web. Bye.